Hi, I'm Dominic Spillane from Theater Engine, and uh, today I'm going to talk about how to schedule a YouTube live stream for a Zoom performance in advance. All right, so you want to do a Zoom performance. First of all, you can set this up as a meeting or as a webinar. And let me just say that a webinar is far and away the better choice for a performance. But right? A webinar is like 40 bucks a month. So here's your workaround, right? You can set your performance up as a meeting and then live stream that meeting to YouTube or Facebook or to anyone else. You can set this up far in advance and it's going to work out great. Let's check it out. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is go to YouTube and click go live. Sorry for all the political ads. Politics has sort of bought the internet right now. And now if I've never live streamed from this account before, I'm gonna be hit with this ready in 24 hours. It takes 24 hours to activate your account for live streaming. Once activated, you can go live instantly. All right, so make sure that you're doing this in advance because YouTube will make you do it. Uh, it takes 24 hours to activate your account. So now I'm gonna switch my account to an account that's already activated. So now I'm here, I'm gonna say create, go live. Schedule a stream. All right, new stream. I'm gonna say that this is my awesome Zoom performance. Okay, we're gonna say admin description. We're gonna say that this is November 1st. At 1.10 p.m., it's a strange time for performance, but you know. All right, um, upload custom thumbnail. So this is where I can uh, put up my image for the show. Um, no, this is not made for kids. Create stream. All right, so now I've created this, this page, all right? Now this get shareable link. This is the link that I want. I'm going to go open this up. That's the link I'm sending to my audience. That's the link you can put in all of your promotional material. All right, so this is the landing page for my audience. So I say, hey, you want to watch this awesome performance? Here's the link. This is where you're going to watch it, right? Um, again, now that I'm on this page, if I wanted to share this, I wanted to get that link again. This is the link, all right? Now, let me just show you some other things in here. In this, there's some confusing things, right? Stream URL, backup server URL. These have nothing to do with your audience. Ignore those for now. They are going to be important later. But now we are going to go over to Zoom. First thing you need to do is make sure that your account is set up to live stream. So now you're logged in, you're gonna to go to settings. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Here we go, allow live streaming meetings. Now, this is gonna be by default be off. You're gonna toggle it on. It says Facebook, Workplace by Facebook, YouTube, custom live streaming service. Um, go ahead and click all of these. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, this is actually the one we're going to be using, which is confusing because we have the YouTube option here and we're using YouTube, but in order to schedule in advance, this is the one we're using, custom live streaming service. All right, now I'm gonna schedule my meeting. So my meeting is my awesome Zoom show. All right, when? It's gonna be November 1st at 1.10 p.m., but we don't have to worry about that now. All right. Okay, almost set up, on, on, all right, yes, good. Okay, so now that this is set up, this is the link, or here, this long one. That's what you're going to be sending to your performers. I'm gonna send this to my performers so that they can access the Zoom meeting where we are performing from, all right? So now it is the day of the performance. I'm gonna start this meeting. Here we go, the meeting is started. Now, when I'm ready to live stream, 
I'm gonna hit more. Here are our options, live on Facebook, YouTube. And remember, we are clicking live on custom live streaming service, boom. That takes us to this page. Now we have to give this page the information, the streaming URL, the streaming key, and the live streaming page URL. All right, now we're gonna go back over to YouTube and get that information. Now imagine that it's been a month, we haven't been here for a while, so I'm actually going to start that over. I'm gonna go to YouTube. The reason I'm gonna show you this is just because when you get to YouTube, you might want to go over here to your channel or to your YouTube studio. Don't do that, you're gonna get lost. Where you actually wanna go is back to the live streaming portal, so you're gonna hit go live again. And here we go, here is the show, all right? So this is what it wants. It wants the live streaming page URL. Everyone who uses this link can watch the live broadcast. That's the public URL, which we grab here. Get shareable link. Boom, link copied to clipboard. Put that there. Now we need to get those ones. And in order to get those ones, we're gonna go into the show. And this is what we were talking about earlier. The stream URL, let's copy that one. Copy, copy to clipboard. Streaming URL, put that there. Now streaming key, copy. All right, here we go, go live. Okay, so now even though we hit go live, we are not live yet. This is the public screen and we're not showing up there yet. But if you go to this screen, the behind the scenes screen, the setup YouTube page, here I am, right? Uh, the feed here is gonna be about 20 seconds behind real time. So it's gonna be weird for you to look at. But you see here now there's this big go live button. You are not actually going to be streaming live to the public page until you press this button. So you can get this set up in advance and you don't have to worry that you're going to you know, be streaming to the audience too early. All right, so now when I'm ready, it's time for the performance. I'm gonna hit go live. Now you see here going live, you're live. And now we go over to the public page. Now remember, even though it said go live, it's about a 20 second lag time. So in about 20 seconds, give or take, this is going to activate. Which is interesting because even though I scheduled this for advance, you can activate this whenever you want. And here we go. See it now it's setting up. Press play. And there we go. That's how you do it. And now I'm done. I'm gonna hit end stream, end, go to Zoom, end a meeting for all, and you are all done. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I might have left out a few details. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'm gonna try and keep posting videos about how to do live performance uh, through Zoom or anything else that I'm experimenting with. So if you're interested in that, then please uh, follow or subscribe or uh, whatever you do on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Bye. You can invite all of your performance. Hi. <laughs> and then you can live stream to the uh, live stream to the Zoom. But you're going to share